To, to allow people to think outside of the box is a great, um, a great gift, I think, and that's what something like this course has certainly taught me. The thing that we continually teach within the programme is that you, you're not teaching stuff which is replacing, if you like, existing tools, but building upon those experiences and those tools that people already have. It seems to me that one of the things we can claim about systems thinking is it's enormously pragmatic. My experience is a lot of people come to systems thinking through practice rather than the other way around. I'd like to talk a bit about the new masters in uh, systems thinking in practice through the lens of the four books which have been co-published between the Open University and Springer. Let me start um, with Systems Thinkers by Magnus Ranich and Karen Shipp. Now this book had its origins in a series of activities over several years in the Systems Department at the Open University. We needed to increase the understanding we collectively had about the people on whose shoulders we stood in teaching and delivering systems courses. These are the people in whose traditions we follow. The second book put together by Martin Reynolds and Sue Holwell, Systems Approaches to Managing Change, A Practical Guide. Who are the leading practitioners that we may be able to invite to give some idea of how they take their systems methods and approaches into action? Uh, the next book is my own, Systems Practice, How to Act in a Climate Change World. My concerns were to address the question, how should we act in a historical moment in which what we have to do is new to human history? What is it out of what we have done thus far that we should conserve in moving forward or to encourage more of? Finally, I'd like to move on to uh, Chris Blackmore's book, Social Learning Systems and Communities Practice. As a bookend, if you like, to the, pro, uh, to the course or the two core courses, it moves away from the practitioner grounded in their own uh, life, world and experience to recognising that all practice has to be done with others. We have Helen Wilding here who has studied both of our core courses. The reason I started the courses was a personal and quite insular desire to be better at my work and know more about systems. Systems thinkers makes me feel as if I have roots, a connection to the history of the community I identify with. Each chapter takes roughly the same type of time it takes to brew and drink a mug of tea. And at that end of the time, curled on the sofa, I've connected with another person, history and context behind a now familiar body of ideas. Systems approaches makes me feel determined and action oriented. It's not just about the whole approaches, but you can pull out ideas and techniques and drip feed them into work. Onto systems practice, and I get a sense of being. It still goes against the grain of my westernised brain to be thinking from a postmodernist stance about psychology, philosophy, discourse, epistemology and institutional change. Not just learning about it, but using that to challenge and change how I think and do. Finally, social learning systems. That makes me feel connected as it helped me to look to and appreciate those around me. I spent a year cocooned in books and assignments and somewhere along the line I emerged as something akin to a systems practitioner. It's odd that even though I ceremoniously gave those books space on my bookshelf at the end of April, they all seem to end up back in the lounge or on the bedside table from time to time. Rather than thinking, oh yes, systems dynamics is this stuff I use on other people you know, to help them do this stuff, I could benefit from it too and was changed as a result. Right, the whole program of systems thinking in practice thrives on messy situations. And as far as I'm concerned, um, we have plenty of fodder around for the next uh, couple of decades, I, I, I would imagine. The Open University was founded around the transformation of society for the better through the opening up of opportunity for personal transformation by the students of study. The program that we have developed embodies that uh, initial spirit, an initial raison d'etre on which the Open University was built.